These bollards, these bollards are harder to lift than you think. Jamie's trying to figure out how to do it. Look, go on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Daddy will show him how it's done. Hey, oh. I can literally feel the flesh in my hands tearing, the skin tearing. Good morning, everyone. Start of another week, and woo, it's a cold one again this week. We're hoping we got rid of this cold snap, but everything's frozen this morning. Big, big freeze going on. Something to defrost everything. Uh, lads are going to do um, school job. It's this roll top stuff here. Um, there's three single gates to go with it. It's only 30 meters, so just defrosting and get loaded up. It's only at Shipley. I think once, uh, once it burns off a bit, might even get sun out later. You see it. Hopefully. So yeah, uh, no doubt we'll get some videos as uh, go down there and we'll we'll get on with this week. Alright, so we're just at Myrtle Park in Bingley and um, working on Myrtle School. So lads are already at it. Cut cut down this fence already. Cut down this bit here. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be putting a plinth there, fencing there, fencing at the other side with two gates. This bit's going to be coming out here to there. It's going to be replaced with a um, roll top. What lads have got on the back of their van. And then all this is attached, so we had to basically come off there. We're going to go in front of that bit there, this section. Should be a panel. That's going to get cut off. Gate's going on here as well. That's getting cut off. So we'll cut all this out, get it onto the van, and then, uh, yeah, leave them to it. Oh my God, he's dead! So they're having to cut it in sections just because this point's a bit higher, and it dips more there, and then comes back up. So doing it in three individual sections, so it looks good. Do it last all, put fencing's in, gate there, to the wall. So it was initially going to go right back of here, but after re-looking at it, all this had had to come down, so they decided not to. We've got this gate here, a little section in, and then we've got that bit there as well, what's been done. So if you look at my video before and you'll be able to see where all the timber white, we're all just rotted. I'm keeping this because it's like a climbing frame, so we'll get that on. But yeah, other than that, good day. Another day at Airedale done. Uh, hello again. <laughs> All right, this morning, uh, probably going to turn out nice. After that cold start this morning, it's quite nice now, quite pleasant. Carl's just finished some palisade gates, actually. You can see them on the floor there. I don't know what's up with this bloody camera following me. Uh, look, I've just finished some palisade gates there to go at galvanizers. And, uh, yeah, what am I on with? Uh, so strangely enough, we've been to measure a job at, that we've actually got at a school at Kirkstall. Uh, so he's going to make them next. And then um, I got a phone call from the trust part of my wife's school, actually. Um, and my first school down in Idle, uh, sorry, middle school, Thorpe, um, which is now just a primary school. Uh, somebody gone over at weekend and turned up with their own ladders and started stripping roof and nicking lead and stone slates and all sorts. Get out of all these days, can you? Um, so I've got a got a price set up for them there. They want a load of fencing now. I have a feeling that is a listed building. So where they want it on this wall up front, I don't think they'll be allowed. So I've suggested another place. So I think they're going to go for that option and uh, obviously look into planning at the same time. Uh, so yeah, so what I thought I was just turning up. To look at a bit of repaired fencing is actually quite a big job so that's my next task i'm gonna get get my measurements out and uh, get that priced up but it's all on crank posts and stuff you see so it takes some working out um, but be a nice little job for car to make i suppose so yeah anyway i'll stop waffling and i'll crack on i'm just back over at uh, phoenix school in keithley um thought it best to get Matt out uh, and have a look so he can try and suss out what electrics they might have or might not have here because um, we're on about automating these existing manual gates and making them a one in one out sort of job um, so yeah 
He's just having a look at that. He just told me somebody smashed his wing bit of 500 odd quid. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the saying? Don't rain it pause or whatever. There's always something in there. Good morning. I've come back to my spot, Carl, by the way. Just in blocking me in. <laughs> we'll do with that. Parking at Bossy's bloody space. So, what are we on with? The lads got finished yesterday down at uh, Myrtle Park at Bingley. Uh, that were a first and all for the school that we're working for. Um, actually paid me before we'd finished. I've had that before in my life. <laughs> Wish all those customers were like that. Fantastic. So yeah, they're just doing this uh, timber today. It's literally only around the corner from the yard. Um, there's 10 metres of 1.8 feather edge and some 1.2 to go above the wall. Simple day really, get that cracked off. Carl stayed last night and uh, finished off these couple of mesh gates and that's the other one there to it. Uh, he's going to take them dark galvanisers this morning or Justin will. So yeah, all good in the hood and that's for um, once they're galled, I'll have to put them on an overnight and then they've got to go to powder quarters um, for the job that we're starting and it's Tuesday next week, yeah, Tuesday. Uh, and then tomorrow they've got a load of repairs to do, so yeah, interesting week and we'll get some footage as we go along. Not baggy here in bushes, oh, it's hard to see because I can't step back, but this is 1.2 up on a wall. Let's cut it around tree. Let's get out of here. Oh, you can't even see it when you go. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Jamie there, he's just finishing his work off now. They'll be out of here soon. So I'm just over at Green Greenhead College actually in uh, Uddersfield. We've actually got a job to do here in the Easter holidays. It's literally another car park they've got around there for staff. There's 75 metres, some twin and two sets of double gates going there. They've had me here today actually just to um, look at another job. They've just had a fantastic like mugger pitch built on the top end up here. See this building here, this is all new. They've built up there. All three got funded for it, um, education or whatever, yeah, it's fantastic, um, no money spare, I mean, they've got the mugger pitch, which is all good stuff, 3 metre, 8, 6, 8, rebound panels, this and the other, and then on the outside of it, they've got like a timber fence, which proper heavy duty, I've never seen not like it, um, all 6 inch square posts and all sorts of uses, it's been, what have been cheap that? What what they've found is um, the mugger's been built next to an, another car park that they've had built up there, and basically it's only three meters high, so they're worried about the balls going over and damaging the cars. So basically, they've had me over to see if there's any way of extending the height. I've suggested like um, a one point two panel going above it, a bit lighter, and have to fabricate some posts to suit to sit on the existing ones. So yeah. Should be an interesting one, obviously not going to be cheap, so we're going to need like a tower scaffold or something there, but anyway. Oh, we actually got Thorpe School as well, I went to see the other day, quoted that, he's uh, emailed them and went to say they want to go ahead. A lot of work for Carl to do, we'll have to fabricate all the posts for that as well, <laughs> we'll keep him going full time. There you go, workers are here, been doing a bit of justing, been busy for once. Best Carl is in that? Yeah. He's just working some prices out. Um, what are them? Oh, what's come back? Yeah, I need to get it all off so we can pick these gates up. Right, oh, timber and all, have we? Aye. We don't like timber, we've got a pair to get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll have to just put it down here for yeah, now, won't you? Are you putting them up against there yeah, for now and then do a scrap run, yeah? They're just going down to galvanisers and powder coaters. So yeah, I'll uh, 
I'll get off because I'm in the middle of quoting about four jobs at the same time here. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. Everybody's already going here. We're just taking this nine metres down here and replacing it with the matching for the timber fence. Uh, most timber nowadays, you know, they get rid of just it just rots and it's you know it's pretty rubbish um, especially when they got it quite a while ago so we'll get this done today and um, we've got another two jobs after this we, we have a new worker at airdale new employee <laughs> so here we are in orbeck orbeck roundabout so you all know this place so we're just uh, doing two panel replace here digging out two posts putting it back on second job at day and uh, we're actually replacing this bollard as well. Looks like someone's come around the corner and flown into a fence. Um, yeah, so we'll get this done and then we'll on to the last one. So we'll uh, get cracked on. Lads, we're just going to put that post in, put that in, place this bollard and uh, job's a good one. We're off. Right, we're just about to leave lads here now, finish this off. So obviously fencing's being replaced, post is going in here. These bollards, these bollards are harder to lift than you think. Jamie's trying to figure out how to do it. Look, go on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Daddy will show him how it's done. Hey, up. I can literally feel the flesh in my hands tearing, the skin tearing. Get the head! Oh! Oh! Sound that. Good morning. Friday already. Friday feeling. Uh, got part timers here with us. Look, halfdayfencing.com. <laughs> yeah, just nice easy job for them today. Just got a set of double policy gates to go in here. Justin's just been at galvanising, picked them up. Lads have got pails on here. Is he here? Yeah, of course. All right. Yeah. So, a bit of a shit all out back of here, but it is what it is. We're just getting these in. You're going camping, Baggy? Yeah. Where are you going? Selby. Selby, camping. Piss it down all week. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> it's that intent listening out, Ray. A little girl like you, the one where... Still a bit cold for camping for my liking. Right, yeah. Yeah, so obviously they're just going to get uh, these gates in. They'll get some videos and get sorted out and then they'll be off for uh, half day. Uh, Jamie reckons he's coming at gym tomorrow, but leads are on tonight. Can't help himself. He's already arranged to meet somebody at pub. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> Turn it round. Try to get him reverse it. See how good his uh, skills are. It's getting a bit tight here. It's getting a bit tight here, Justin. Go forward, straighten up. Not too bad. Uh, I've just come to see a bit of a repair, I've just walked around with blokes actually, but uh, I'll just turn it around so you can see. Not only you can see from there, but basically a lot of the existing steel policy is damaged there. 2.4 Ds. Uh, I'll try to get a shot of it as I go past in a minute, but yeah, I think there's about six sections to replace. So uh, some of the pails are okay, uh, but the rails are bent, so they've all got to be cut off. And, new rails and what have they and uh, replaced a couple of posts to dig out and straighten up but uh, there's a quarry at the bottom here so it's, it's literally bedlam with wagons up and down and the reversing and getting in there and then bending <laughs> fencing probably better there you can see them the damage there and a few down there quite a few damage yeah, I think there's about six in total, um, various different pails and rails needed. But like I say, I'll make my way back now and I'll get this quoted up. Here we go, we've got one here. Gates are on. After Jamie messed it all up, we had to come out, fix all his errors. <laughs> I thought you were meant to be thought you were meant to be winding me up today. It seems like it's worked the other way around, mate. <laughs> Right, Friday's over, let's get to the pub. <laughs> 